So, first I just want to say thank you for inviting us and thank you for making this, uh, taking up an offering for us. Um, we are deeply grateful. It's fitting that um, an interdenominational choir should, should be here tonight because we are an interfaith organization. We are many different faith communities that have come together to create something amazing in our community. Um, and tonight, I can tell you that there are eight homeless folks from Ontario County who are safe and probably just got done dinner and are watching a movie and maybe having a little ice cream. Um, because the faith community on Ontario County did not bury its head around the issue of homelessness. They pulled together and now Family Promise is ending homelessness in Ontario County. Our goal is to end it for all the families that are experiencing homelessness. Last year, there were 346 children in Ontario County schools who were identified as homeless. We know that half of the children that are homeless um, in this country are under the age of five. So it's an issue. It's a concern. So how do you, in, in, in lots of places, Right? They haven't been able, I've worked in New York City, I've worked in Philadelphia, I've worked in Portland, Maine. In lots of communities, people have not been successful at kind of marshalling the resources that are needed. Yes, you know, people, places will have shelters and they'll, they'll try to do certain things like that, but what they lack is really the solution, what we try to do, and what we believe is the ultimate solution to homelessness. Think for a minute about who is less loved in this country than homeless families, right? People who may be in poverty, people who may be struggling with an addiction, people who we don't want to think about existing. So what tends to happen is that these families become really isolated and communities turn their back on them. And when that happens, then they start to believe that they are indeed undeserving of love and undeserving of a place in the community. We know different, right? We believe that the secret to ending homelessness is love and compassion. And we show that every night of the year. We have over 700 volunteers from different denominations, different faith communities all over the county who run our program every night. And if your congregation wants to get involved as a support community, please contact us. We'd love to bring more communities, more organizations on. Um, if you have volunteered with Family Promise, could you just raise your hand? Also, you can talk to any of these people. Donna and Susie, coordinators for East Bloomfield UMC, that is a partner congregation this week with First Press. Um, so every night, the faith communities of Ontario County are responding to homelessness with love and compassion and it's transforming lives. Just one example, one quick example. If you are pregnant when you're homeless, you have a 40% greater chance of having your baby be hospitalized in its first year of life. You have a much greater chance of having a low birth weight baby. You have a much higher chance of having that baby spend the first two months of its life in the NICU. Lots of bad outcomes. Last week, one of our graduates had a baby, um, seven pounds, five ounces, full term, healthy, came home after two days, um, and she's ready to go. Right? That was not an outcome that was in the foreseeable future when she came to us three months pregnant, having been hospitalized three times for dehydration. She was staying in a motel and you know, she was sleeping with a knife in her pillow because she didn't feel safe. Um, but the kind of love and nourishment that she got from Family Promise helped her understand that she could have a different kind of life. Two examples. One, during the first stage of her pregnancy, she was nauseous a lot. Right? The kid, the she was barking a lot. She barked a lot <laughs> every day. <laughs> Volunteers, you know, put their heads together and say, okay, what, what, what would this girl eat? What can she eat? So instead of putting heavy cream in the mashed potatoes one night, 
a volunteer use chicken stock. Right? And in so doing, this woman was able to keep that food down. In fact, the first thing she said to me the next morning when I picked her up was, but those were the mess, best mashed potatoes I've ever had. It reminded me of my grandmother's. Okay. So that was a simple act of care. One other example. When she was at another congregation, she came in, I dropped her off in the afternoon, and someone had put a note on her door. It was from one of the volunteers who was there the night previous, and she said, you know, the note said, I'm sorry I'm not going to see you again. I'm not scheduled to be on the schedule, but I wanted you to know I think you're going to be a great mother to that new baby. Someone cared enough to want to communicate something very important to a mother who really needed to hear those messages. And then she started to believe them. Right? So when we asked her after she left and she graduated and she got moved into her apartment, and one of the things that Family Conference does, by the way, is that we follow up with families after they leave. So we don't just cut them off. We follow them for 12 months after they leave. One of the things she said was, one of the things I learned is that I don't have to live in a toxic environment. Right? She found another way. She found another way through volunteers, like all the people who have come together to make Family Promise happen. Um, we are incredibly grateful for all the ways that the faith community has embraced us and supported us. Again, if you are in a congregation that's not yet involved as a support congregation, please come see me. Um, we'd love to talk to you. We'd love to talk to your mission folks to see if there's some way we could work together. Um, and thank you for all the ways that you helped make Family Promise um, the growing organization that it is. Does anybody have any questions? Yes? Do you have a website so we can find you? We do have a website. It's um, familypromiseontariocounty.org. There are cards down in the lobby. You can take one with. It has all of our contact information on it. We're also on Facebook. You can follow us on Facebook. Yep, thank you. Can, you, can I hold that up? I'm sure. So there's a bunch of these downstairs. They have all our contact information. Do other counties in the area have similar programs? There's a program in Washington, or, I'm sorry, in Rochester, and there's one in Wayne County that just started around the same time we did. We did. In fact, we do some cross training, and so some of the folks that we train can then go on to work in Wayne County, vice versa. Great, on with the show. I was just going to say, you might want to tell, tell everyone how widespread this is across the country. Sure, we're part of a national organization, uh, Family Promise, that operates in 43 states. If you go on our Facebook page, you'll find a link to a, a story that was on the Today Show this week about Family Promise National uh, and some of the results they're having in one of the other states. Um, so it's a big organization. In fact, if the number of volunteers um, were ranked, um, we would be the 34th great largest employer in the country, right behind the Ford Motor Company. 180,000 employees, volunteers. It's huge. It's huge and small at the same time, right? We only serve four families at a time, and that's the beauty of it. We can be personal. We, have, we provide transportation in a rural county like Ontario County. Uh, we've driven the equivalent of Canada to Managua, Nicaragua. <laughs> Since we started. We opened September 23rd. 2018. Um, the national organization has been around for about 30 years. Uh, it was acknowledged uh, during the first Bush campaign as one of the points of life, thousand points of life uh, campaign that found for Karen Olson. At the uh, training, I did a training on Thursday. There were five different congregations represented. It's part of the beauty of it. It's not as beautiful as the choir. Those, those voices are really spectacular. Um, and that makes it. Yes? Our families find housing where they can. Um, so sometimes people qualify for housing programs. Um, all, all of the adults, there are three adults in our program tonight. All three of them are working. Right? The struggle to find affordable housing in Ontario County is real. Um, requires a salary of about 37000 to find an affordable two-bedroom apartment. And if you're a family who needs a three-bedroom apartment, you're even, you know, you struggle. But that's the great thing about Family Promise, right? Because we stay in the struggle with them. We know it's a struggle. 
And we don't have all the solutions, but we're not going to turn our backs on you just because it's difficult or complicated. Or it's 10 o'clock at night, and you need, you know, you're at the hospital in Rochester, and there's no way for you to get back to your apartment. Someone's going to call us, and they're going to get back to their apartment and get that kind of support. Great. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.